Hey, I wanted to share with you the next art project. So this is a scribble shape project. Um, for this project, you'll need a pencil, a Sharpie, um, so pencil and Sharpie, and you'll need crayons, or you can use color pencils, whatever you have on hand to color with. The paper can be lined paper, it can be plain white paper, computer paper, whatever you have, that will work. Um, we're gonna start by drawing some simple shapes, circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, um, different size squares and different size circles. And then we're gonna be working on scribbling over those and then creating the lines that we're gonna be coloring in inside of the shape, sticking with the same color theme. So orange with orange, purple with purple, pinks with pinks, yellows, reds, and blues, whatever colors that you plan to use. So step one, I like to take, um, I'm gonna go right to Sharpie, but you probably wanna start with pencil first. I like to draw a border first around the outside. Does not have to be perfect, just do your best. Mine's kind of wavy already, you can see that. So this just gives it a fun little finished, almost like a self-made picture frame sort of look to your picture. And then you wanna start thinking about what sort of shapes you want and where you want them. So I'm gonna start with, and you can even do a heart. I'm gonna do a heart on this one. Nice big heart. Um, uh, overlapping and underlapping. So maybe I'll have a circle, half circle that underlaps the heart. Uh, maybe I want a giant square that's touching the circle. As you can see, they're just touching here. And then maybe I want a rectangle that comes out this way and goes behind. And then maybe I want a circle down here. Um, and then maybe I want a half triangle or a triangle that goes underneath it. Maybe I want another triangle. I mean, that's really up to you. Once you get your basic shapes drawn, um, you're gonna just kind of start scribbling all over your paper. You don't wanna scribble too much. The more you scribble, the more you have to color. So keep that in mind. So that looks pretty good. I feel like I need something here done. I'm happy with that. Once you get your scribbling done, again, not too much scribble, keep it simple. You get too much, you have to color too many shapes in on the inside, because now you're gonna start coloring in these shapes. Crayons, markers, color pencils, that's really up to you. Um, I might start this shape being a yellow shape. So that means I can only work in my yellow colors. Um, I can even mix and do crayon and color pencil, and that's actually what I did on mine. So I use these kind of twist up color pencils, but anything will work. And I'm just gonna start coloring in my yellows. So you can see how different these are. Now I can push really hard to get uh, a color and then I can also color softly to get a different color. So if you don't have a variety of yellows, you can push hard to get a different um, bright or dark look for the color. So that's what we're gonna do now. Once you get your coloring done, if you want it to pop even more, you can go back and outline your shapes with either a black Sharpie and make the lines a lot thicker, just like I did on this one. Um, the nice thick lines make those shapes pop, but it's up to you. If you don't have a black Sharpie, you can also use black crayon, black color pencil, and you can just go back through and just give it a nice big bold outline just around your shapes. That'll make your shapes really, really pop and make those really visible because we are going to leave the background completely black and white. So there we go. We have our squiggle colored shapes for this week and I hope you enjoyed it. It's lots of fun.